Today we're gonna make this. Wait, it's all a comically large spoon? Always oh, has been. You're gonna need Adobe After Effects, purchased legally, of course. Element 3D, also purchased legally. The .zip file of images available for download in the description of this video. And a funny idea. First, you need to find a 3D model. I went to sketchfab.com and typed in spoon to find this. Download it as an OBJ and you're good to go. In Adobe After Effects, create a new composition. If it's for Instagram, keep it 1080 by 1080. If it's for YouTube, make it 1920 by 1080. Make a new solid and apply the effect Element. Click Scene Setup, Import, and find the 3D model you just downloaded. Go to your material settings and apply both the Earth Diffuse and Earth Normal textures that you can download from the description of this video. You can mess around with the UV mapping coordinates until you have something you're happy with. Click OK, turn on ambient occlusion and shadows and set them both to ray traced. Add whatever kind of lighting you want. I chose to go with a point light to cast the main shadow I wanted, along with a spotlight to keep the front from getting too dark. I also added a couple of rotation keyframes so the spoon would slowly rotate. Put the stars image behind your subject and the blue haze image above everything else set to screen. Duplicate your object layer and make the bottom copy very blue. Apply a glow effect, duplicate it, and adjust the opacity until you have something cool. If your laptop isn't literally on fire yet, pre-compose both copies of your object along with all your lights. Import both astronaut PNGs and put them in the correct order below the blue haze. Be sure to set both astronauts and your object to 3D layers, then space them out however you want. Add a new camera to your project and give it a couple position keyframes so it reveals the astronauts as it pans back. Once I was happy with my camera movement, I used the camera lens blur effect with some manual keyframes to fake depth of field. I also pre-composed the astronaut with the gun, masked out his arm, and keyframed it to raise as he's coming into frame. In the same pre-comp, I gave him a flag on his arm. Most people might not notice small things like this, but I usually try to add details whenever possible. I recorded some voice lines, added some subtitles, and a green screen muzzle flash I found on YouTube. And with that, you're pretty much done. Wait. It's all a comically large spoon. Always has been. If you enjoyed this video, or feel like you learned something, consider dropping a like, or a comment, or subscribing and turning on push notifications. That would be so cool of you to do.